What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about an uh, Instagram model or OnlyFans model by the name of Michaela Saravia. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's 25. She's suing her ex-boyfriend for revenge posting. Now, she broke up with this guy, I believe, in October. I think he accused her of cheating on him. This thing went, went viral. Um, I don't know if I spoke about it or not. Uh, if I did, I'll post it in the description. Well, maybe I didn't, but uh, they broke up and didn't really hear much from any of them. But apparently she's claiming that he got a hold of her accounts and started posting. Now, I believe she goes by K Kush. I believe that's what she goes by. Uh, she's suing her ex for $6 billion. <laughs> Now, I don't know how much her OnlyFans make. Maybe we'll get, we'll get into it. But, you know, in these situations, a lot of times these women have other people managing their pages, whether it be a boyfriend. I told y'all these boyfriends be the main ones out here managing. They're the photographers, the videographers. Those are the boyfriends, right? They're doing all this. And then when a girl allegedly steps out on them, they're shocked. It's like, why, why are you surprised? I mean, your girl's on OnlyFans. But be that as it may, let's get into this. Now, according to the Sporting Grill, Millions of people have seen her. Uh, she's the well-known model, of course, on various social media platforms. She has two accounts on OnlyFans, if y'all didn't know. One which is free and the other which is more explicit and costs $30 a month. So you got to pay like $30, $30 a month to uh, see what she's doing on there. But the couple split. In 2022, from that point, the scenario changed. See? Now, Kay Kush, which is her name, asserts that after their breakup in October 2022, Hunter, who's 27, reset the passwords on her accounts and shared obscene images and videos. He was sued by her for publishing retaliation videos. According to the lawsuit from October 2022 through January 2023, Hunter posted numerous explicit photos and films of Saravia, including for uh, including for sale. So he was selling, I guess, his own personal videos and pictures, maybe not necessarily hers that she was a had up for sale. Maybe he, he was <laughs> he was selling a really, really good stuff. I don't know. Attorney Joseph DeRuzio for Saravia asserted that no one has the authority to post further content without someone's agreement just because the former previously approved of an image. He accused he accused the defendant of having used the OnlyFans account to sell ex, uh, explicit videos and pictures of the accuser. Hunter is accused of sending the explicit image of her on Twitter on January 28th using her Twitter account, according to the lawsuit, Dex boyfriend claimed to have transacted business with her. According to the Daily Mail, the couple co-produced YouTube videos while they were dating. Also, she, her uh, Saravia's photos of herself with long stretched tongue garnered media attention in an interview. She claimed that in sixth grade, she found the distinctiveness of her tongue she tried to be unique and think beyond the box. Her favorite video is her Thanksgiving shot. It was quite humorous, she continued. About how she makes money, she says she runs ads and makes money off her app and YouTube. On her website, she also sells merchandise. She made a little under 50,000 last year. This year, she be better since she had already doubled that amount. Now, Nicholas Hunter is her ex. Uh, he is also known as Nick Yardy, has his special <laughs> specialization in social media marketing business and has his own clothing line, according to Yahoo Finance. Additionally, uh, Saravia's expansion has been his career's biggest client growth story. The declaration read, model Michaela Saravia also known as K Kush, is to date his most notable client success story. Hunter, who oversees K Kush, has increased her 
accounts fan base from just 1,000 to about 5 million using creative development techniques. All of his clients are urged to participate with their fans on social media in order to build relationships and increase engagement. That's like a marketing one-on-one. They tell you that, you know, in marketing one-on-one, always, you know, get with the engagement. But I think what really took her over the edge is the is her her unusual tongue. That's how I knew of her. Uh, I would see pictures of her. I didn't know really her name or her social media. I would just see pictures. I was like, what's that? And it was, you know, K Gush, right? But that's that's that to me is marketing in itself. You know what I'm saying? That to me is marketing in itself when you have somebody who's known for having an abnormal tongue, right? Now, these two broke up and it was a bad breakup to the point to where he went and got the accounts. I guess he felt like he built her and, you know, he felt like he could take it off from, I don't know. Legally, I, I don't know. Maybe she's gotten her accounts back. Uh, I just think that you, you sometimes you're better off just going about it alone instead of bringing in your boyfriend to do all these different things. I would not be surprised if, if they their relationship at first wasn't romantic it was more business and then it became romantic that's how he able that's how he was able to get access to everything you know it was more business at first and it became something different uh but again you cannot mix relationships with business you know you got all these women with only fans pages and they're having their boyfriends run the accounts what happens when you break up with him he's gonna take everything so you might not want to be dating guys who's producing your only fans content and that looks like what's going on here she she had she gave her boyfriend a job basically <laughs> she <laughs> gave him a job man I, I listen i could be wrong maybe he had other clients before her or uh, maybe he has other clients now right but again like you're in a relationship i, I just don't know the dynamics of it but i will say this though you got to be careful if you are a guy out here and you get caught in your feelings and and you break up with a chick and you, you're accusing her of doing this, that, and the third, uh, you're dating a female who's on OnlyFans. What do you think is going to happen? Like seriously, it's not. It's probably not going to end well. That relationship is not going to end well. It really isn't. And again, I don't know the dynamics, but no, I don't know if she's. And when this, I don't know if she got in her account. Maybe she's gotten her accounts back. But I would just say this. Don't mix business with relationships. You know? Because what's going to happen is that person can take that. They can take that account, those accounts back. You better off just going about it yourself. Because if it, because again, I don't know the dynamics, but I know there was a lot of mudslinging. But I will say this though. Uh, Nick, her ex, had accused her. Uh, no, not accused. I believe it happened. Uh, he got upset because she went to Jimmy Smack's house. This is a guy who I believe does OnlyFans as well. And he's considered a rival. And she performed an act on him, right? But she was also accused of hooking up with Popcan, rapper Popcan, right? Honestly, that again, when you're dating an OnlyFans model like her, I don't know if being faithful is going to be in that in the cards. You know, the best that, that this guy Nick could do is cut his losses and move on, right? Because if he built her up and he feels like he is a key to her success, let's see how successful she is without him. I don't know, but I think it might be best. And also, she accused him of beating on her. She accused her ex Nick of beating on her. Now, she only did that once he was calling her out for cheating on her. You know, hooking up with these other guys, right? Now, all of a sudden, he's beating on her. That's why I say this guy, Nick, is better off just leaving her alone, moving on with his life. So let us in the comments, let your thoughts, like this video and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.